Hey guys, welcome to another Tennis Express racket review. Today we're looking at the Dunlop Strixon CX 2.0 Tour. Dunlop has a rich history of flexible tour level frames and the story remains the same in the CX 2.0 Tour. The racket has a sonic core technology, a silicone based EVA material injected in key points of the frame to help maintain power even on off center hit. It also reduces frame vibration, upping the comfort level and control factor. The HR grommet system, grommets made of Hybrar, greatly reduce vibration, continuing the theme of comfort in a player's frame. Dunlop's Synchro Charge System, high elasticity carbon construction, helps maintain stability when you miss the sweet spot. Lastly, Heat Convert allows a cleaner feeling response at contact because of thermal energy conversion technology which helps reduce vibrations without sacrificing maneuverability or frame stability. Now, let's get our playtester's impression of Kevin Anderson's racket of choice. Chris, what did you make of the 2.0 Tour? I really like the 2.0 Tour. Uh, a little bit heavier, but has really good uh, pop and good control. Uh, I felt like I could swing out on every shot and really crisp volleys. Uh, even serves, I could really hit, go after my serve and didn't feel like the ball was going to go out of bounds. Um, definitely a uh, high level racket. I can understand why Kevin Anderson likes this racket. Fair enough. Jeannie, what did you make of the 2.0 Tour? For me, it was amazing because I love heavy rackets and this racket has got it all. Um, I like the fact that when I was playing with it, it, was, it gave me a lot more pop on my serve as well as my strokes. And also when you know when swinging out, like he said, um, it helped also redirect the ball as fast, as fast as I could make it. But also when you're late on the shots, it would help you as well carry the ball. But I like the fact that it has that variety, dense variety in terms of creating the spin or in terms of just having to hit flat on it. So for me, it was a really solid racket overall. Right. My experience, I think, was a little bit different. I felt like the 1820 pattern. I'm I'm accustomed to it. I'm used to it and I liked it, but the 95 head is sort of a throwback. It's a little bit uh, older school, uh, older setup. Um, I'm a child of the 90s, so that 95 head I grew up with, now it seems a little small for me, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, this definitely had a very plush, old school. I was reminded of the heritage of the 200G uh, back in the day, just a very flexible uh, player spec, very user friendly, but you got to take a cut with it. I think for all of us, I think maybe we mi we missed less than 10 balls long the whole day. So it's definitely a racket that you're going to have to swing through the hitting zone. Uh, but if, if you do so, if you hit the sweet spot of the racket, there's not one on the market right now for my money that feels better than the Srixon 2.0 Tour. Thank you so much for checking out another Tennis Express racket review. Special thanks to Westheimer Indoor Athletic Club for letting us use their courts. Remember to follow Tennis Express on social media for upcoming sales, offers, and product releases.